Alright guys, in today's nice little video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change your stock 300 lights into these 6 bulb flush mount LED pods. I'm not going to do it like everybody that I've seen. Really complicated. Why is my camera zoomed in so far? There we go. I'm just going to back this winch off. I forgot about that. Son of a gun. I was going to back that winch off. I can just put it in free spool, I think. I'll get back to you guys when I get this winch off. Alright guys, so, I got that winch done up, it's just, I just kind of put it in free spool mode and pulled it off. Now, I'm going to feed this wire back out of this grill because this wire doesn't go anything. That goes to the light that was up there is the high beam. So, now, I'm going to want to take these headlights out, which... Shouldn't be too hard. I might move the winch out of the way. But, shouldn't be that hard. Get back to you guys when I have them out. Alright guys. So I ended up taking the whole grill out. And I brought the headlights and the whole wiring harness out with it. And now, I should be able to fabricate some points for these to fit they're gonna go through the grill but for these to be right in there it's gonna look pretty so i'll get back to you guys when i do that i think this is how i want to mount this light i'm gonna have quarter inch bolts about an inch long with on the back side a lock washer and a flat washer and then a nut and it should bolt down, so we'll see. Be back with you guys. Alright guys, so if you get the same route as me, what you want to do is do what I showed you in the last video with the bolts. But you're going to want to tighten them in a crisscross pattern. Like this. This bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt. Same on that side. And then put it in and wire it up and it's ready to go. So just remember that. So as I went ahead and put the grill back in, bolted it up, now all I gotta do is run this red wire to the white wire, this black wire to the green wire, and vice versa on the other side, and the same thing on the other side. So I'll be back with you guys when I do that. Alright guys, I know it looks bad right now, but I got the first side, the left side wired up, so let's just test it. Okay, for some reason my phone's a camera went out anyway we're gonna turn the switch on and turn the lights on Ooh, it works first one in one more to wire up turn all these off I'm gonna use these little connectors I'm just gonna crimp it on there to hold the wires in it's not the best way to do it but so I'm gonna do it. So I'll be back when I get it all wired up. Alright guys, so obviously I skipped a step or two, but because the four wheels are back on those wheels. But I got them both installed. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna rip the factory stuff that's up there out. And you're gonna cut the wires all except the high beam. Turn the flashlight on. Well. Dang. I want the flashlight turn on. There we go. Cut everything but the high beam and wire it all together. Wire it in. Over here too. And mount it. And when you turn them on. It should be both on. Now. The way I did it. You can wire in a high beam. To have a high beam but these won't work on high beam they just turn off as you guys can see 
on high beam, low beam, they're on. Now they're off. But yeah, that's basically the step. So if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified about the next video. Bye bye.